Ever heard of the movie Poppy Hymn? If not, you're in for a treat. The 1973 film is full of funny, shocking, and sad moments that'll keep you glued to your seat. So, why is it such a classic? Well, let's dive in. The movie follows the story of Henri Cherrier, a French convict, as he navigates through the brutal penal system in French Guiana. He's determined to escape, no matter the cost. Along the way, he forms unlikely alliances and faces unimaginable challenges. What makes this movie stand the test of time? Perhaps it's the gripping tale of resilience and human spirit. Or maybe it's the stellar performances by Steve McQueen and Dustin Hoffman that leave a lasting impact. Have you ever been inspired or moved by this film? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your most special moments or personal experiences related to the movie with us. So, grab your popcorn and get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. Papa Hyun is a journey you won't forget. The 1973 film Papa Hyun had a big effect on both viewers and the movie industry. It tells the gripping tale of a man wrongly convicted of murder who's sent to a harsh penal colony in French Guiana. Through his strong will and determination, he survives many challenges, including brutal punishments and multiple escape attempts. The movie's lasting influence comes from its exploration of resilience, friendship, and the human spirit's ability to endure tough situations. It showed the harsh realities of the penal system, sparking discussions about fairness, cruelty, and how far people will go for freedom. The film remains relevant because its themes are timeless. It still connects with audiences who enjoy stories of overcoming difficulties and seeking freedom. Additionally, its portrayal of the bond between the main character and his fellow inmates reminds us of the importance of sticking together in tough times. Poppy Hill left a mark on cinema by inspiring later movies about prison escapes and staying popular with audiences around the world. Its depiction of the human spirit's strength in tough times continues to inspire and captivate viewers, ensuring that its influence will last for years to come. In the 1973 movie, Dustin Hoffman faced challenges for his role as Louis de Gay. He wore contact lenses to see clearly through thick glasses. Hoffman also shed 18 pounds by consuming mostly coconuts for a crash diet. The cave scenes were shot beneath the cliffs of Negril, Jamaica, where the ex Hotel stands today. These locations added depth to the film's atmosphere, providing authenticity to the character's struggles. Hoffman's dedication to his role, evident in both his physical transformation and his attention to detail, contributed to the film's realism and impact on audiences. Released four years after the source novel's publication, the 1973 movie follows the journey of its protagonist, a man named Henry Cherrier, nicknamed Poppy Hyun. Despite the movie's success, its sequel Banco, which coincidentally came out the same year as the movie and Cherrier's death, has never been adapted for the screen. Dustin Hoffman, who played a significant role in the movie, drew inspiration from co-writer Dalton Trumbo. He mirrored Trumbo's withdrawn and shy demeanor in his portrayal of his character. Hoffman found Trumbo's blend of toughness, sophistication, and integrity fitting for his character, Degay. This led him to suggest Trumbo write the character based on himself, emphasizing the alignment between the character and Trumbo's personality. Additionally, the song Devil's Island from Megadeth's 1986 album Peace Cells. But who's buying? Draws inspiration from the movie. Dave Mustaine, the band's leader, singer, and guitarist, penned the track, paying homage to the narrative and themes of the movie. The movie's significance is evident in various cultural references, including character portrayal and musical tributes, reflecting its resonance across different mediums and audiences. Directed by Franklin J. Schaffner, the 1973 movie emphasizes the minimal use of music, with only 40 minutes of it spread across its two and a half hour runtime. Schaffner, along with composer Jerry Goldsmith, aimed to employ music solely to highlight the film's psychological aspects rather than as a constant backdrop. While billed as a true story, controversies surround the accuracy of the narrative. The French government disputes many events depicted, casting doubt on the authenticity of Papillon's experiences. Records fail to confirm his time on the infamous Devil's Islands, despite his alleged escape from St. Laurent. Steve McQueen and Dustin Hoffman, the film's leads, navigated a complex relationship on set. Despite their commitment to professionalism, tensions arose. McQueen's preference for simplicity clashed with Hoffman's verbose style, leading to occasional friction. Despite this, Hoffman later described their dynamic as a friendly rivalry, acknowledging McQueen's off-screen charm contrasted with his intense on-set demeanor. Nevertheless, moments of animosity punctuated their collaboration, with Hoffman referring to McQueen as that son of a bitch. 
In a movie where Dustin Hoffman plays an unusual friend to a tall blonde guy, Papillon stands out as a memorable film. It was filmed in Jamaica, and Henry Cherrier, who inspired the story, was there during the shooting, but he passed away before the movie was finished, so he never saw the final version. Even though Steve McQueen did a great job in his role, the Academy didn't give him an award, which made people wonder why. Some thought it was because of personal issues with McQueen, while others said it was because he was older than the character he played. But McQueen did get nominated for a Golden Globe for Best Actor. Papillon shows how talented the actors were and keeps alive the story of Cherrier. During the production of the film, financial troubles threatened to halt filming altogether until Steve McQueen intervened, insisting that everyone be paid before he continued working. His stance resolved the issue, allowing production to proceed smoothly. While shooting in Jamaica, Dustin Hoffman crossed paths with Sir Paul McCartney, who was vacationing in Montego Bay. Hoffman challenged McCartney to compose a song on the spot, resulting in Picasso's last words, inspired by a conversation about Pablo Picasso's final moments. Following completion, the film saw two major releases by different distributors in the same year Allied Artists and Columbia Pictures both released it in 1973. Steve McQueen, known for his roles in films like The Great Escape, found himself once again in a gripping tale of imprisonment in the 1973 movie. In a daring stunt, he leaped off a cliff, later describing it as one of the most exhilarating experiences of his life. Interestingly, two cast members, Victor Jory and George Coolaris, had prior experiences with Devil's Island, lending authenticity to their portrayals. Jory had been in Escape from Devil's Island, while Coolaris starred in I Accuse, a film about another famous prisoner of the island, Alfred Dreyfus. These connections added depth to the film's portrayal of the harsh realities of incarceration. In a poignant gesture, the premiere of the film Papillon supported cancer research, honoring Henry Cherrier, who succumbed to lung cancer mere months before its release. Notably, during one scene in the movie, a tapir is prominently featured, symbolizing Cherrier's fondness for these creatures. In reality, tapirs played a role in his post-escape adventures, aiding fishermen in locating prey, as detailed in his sequel Banco. Additionally, Steve McQueen shared the screen with his close friend Don Gordon in three films, including Poppy Hyun, solidifying their on-screen chemistry and camaraderie. Filming for the movie began without a finalized script, a bold move that set the tone for the production's adventurous spirit. One intriguing aspect of the film is the appearance of screenwriter Dalton Trumbo in the role of the Commandant, adding a layer of authenticity to the portrayal. However, the movie's departure from the novel's narrative has drawn criticism. Many skeptics question the authenticity of the original story, making them particularly harsh towards the film, which takes even greater liberties with the source material. Despite these challenges, the movie manages to captivate audiences with its gripping storyline and compelling performances.